So I want to show how you can change a photograph to black and white using Photopea. Again, you can find Photopea by searching for it on Google. Click on that first website that shows up there. It'll take you to this page. I'm going to open an image from my computer and I'll scroll down open up the image I want by double clicking on it and to change this to black and white I can go up to image and it's under adjustments and there's the option to change it to black and white in there there's also a bunch of other options in there you could try out and play around with and see how they work as well for this video though we're gonna look at changing it to black and white when I click on there, it does bring up a menu in there. And if you wanted to try sliding things around and, and seeing how it changes it, it will show you a preview of, of what it's going to change when you slide those around. But if you don't like what you're changing, you could reset it. Sometimes it's nice, too, if you try seeing what it's going to change it to and you want to see before and after you can click on and off the preview. I'm going to hit reset there. I'm just going to use the standard preset stuff that they're suggesting. Something I do like to do after I change an image to black and white is to go back and look at the brightness and contrast of it. So under image adjustments, the very top one there is brightness and contrast. And it's nice to kind of slide this one around and see what happens if you increase the brightness or take some away add some contrast to it or take some away using those sliders and i can see here's before here's after and i can kind of see am i improving the image did i make it look better do i want to keep that if i do i'll say okay and if you have your image and you're happy with it, you'll go up to File. And instead of saying Save here, I would say go to Export As. And a JPEG or a PNG would be a good file type to use. And you'll hit JPEG on there. It gives you this zoomed-in version. And then you're ready to hit Save right here. It goes to my downloads over here. From there, you could open it up or drag it where you needed it, put it in your Google Drive or whatever you may need. All right, I think that's it.